a doubt that the American culture is in a downward spiral. Shootings in schools, attacks on police, misuse of authority by police, disrespect of teachers, disobedience by children of parents, drugs, gangs, violence. Why is this happening? There are many answers, but do these effects trace back to a common thread? I think they might. At the risk of oversimplicity, let's try this out. There is a way that God made the world. His created order involves laws and rules which are, despite what we think and despite how we feel, or even how we really, really feel, immutable and unchanging. God said, thou shalt not murder. In America, in the last 75 years, we have been sold the lie that pre-born children are not human and that cruelty and violence against them is a matter of personal choice. This lie is dangerous and dangerously consequential, as not only do pre-born Americans suffer mutilation and murder, but induced and surgical abortions have damaging short-term and long-term effects on women. And studies show that many women who undergo abortions have been falsely led to believe that a pre-born child is not human. If you're a father, let me pose a simple question. When you drove your pregnant wife to the hospital, did you expect anything to be born other than a human being? Despite his immense hatred for the Jewish people, Hitler couldn't murder six million without significant help. A witness to the Holocaust, Elie Wiesel described in gruesome detail how he and fellow prisoners were brutally and systematically dehumanized. Dehumanization is the process of turning a person into an object or an evil existence. And dehumanization is an essential predicate to mass murder because it absolves the conscience of witnesses, allowing them to become accomplices. You see, if one becomes convinced that the evil object is less than human, then it can be killed, if killing it is convenient. This is the key similarity of the Holocaust and abortion. As a culture, by default, we consider the new life in womb to be babies, precious children. But as soon as they get inconvenient, we downgrade them to fetuses and exile them claiming that they are an unwanted appendage to a woman's body or just a bunch of cells. In other words, we dehumanize them, then we kill them. What is needed is a reawakening in the culture regarding the humanity of the preborn. This is why Maryland County Councilman Michael Anthony Perutka is sponsoring Resolution 3018 in the Anne Arundel County Council. This historic resolution acknowledges and declares that preborn children are human beings and have God given and constitutionally protected rights, including the right to live. They can't commit mass murder without our help. Let's stop helping them and commit our prayers, efforts, and encouragement to brave men like Mr. Perutka who take their oath to secure the rights of the governed seriously and are willing to pledge their lives, fortunes, and sacred honor. If you would like to lend your support or just learn more, please contact his office at perutkatownhall.com. This is Jake McCauley and Dominic McCauley with the Institute on the Constitution bringing you The, the American, American View. View.